Okay, so now at this stage in the game, we're about to paint our big blue gas tank. So we're gonna go from, put a little primer on it, turn it from red to blue, and we did some body work to it, and touched up some stuff, had a couple dents here and there. This side here, you could see, needed a bunch of work, had to fill that in. You can see some other videos that show you how to do a little, body, a little bit of body work. Um, now, with the primer, we're in our little magic paint booth here, AKA the firewood pile, it's kinda cold. Everything's warm. I want to shoot it while I can. With primer, you want to shake this for a few minutes. Back and forth. Go a little bit past each time. And start over again with your passes. Slowly work your way up the whole thing. Coat a little bit. It can be kind of light. Try not to get too much on the threads because you're going to have to clean that. Just a nice light coat. Get in there and you can go over it and coat it again later. If you do too much, it's going to run. If you do a nice quick coat, like this, you won't get any drips. That'll help you get started with it. Keep the camera away so I don't get any of this paint on the camera. Nothing can be worse than that. Hope you've been following our other videos on what to do. We had to patch a couple holes in this gas tank, seal that up. I know that's a hodgepodge patch on the inside there, but it will work. We'll get a little bit of coating on this. And this is a sandable primer. It's etchable, so it will eat into the metal. And we're just about out of it. And that's good because we need to bond to this metal here a little bit. Like I said, I just wanted to put a light coat just so we get something in there so everything can adhere to it. And we'll come back and put more on in a minute and build up the coats so we could sand them down and clean them up. But we can hear the pigs squealing away back there. They're like, give me food. But we're getting there and that's just, again, just to start, first bit, not too heavy. You can still see a little bit of red through it. We'll go over and we'll put more in a minute. And we'll let this sit. And because it's cold out here, it should be warmer to shoot this, but I... And I'm shooting the bottom of this because I don't want to see any of this color on the machine when it's done. There's plenty of people that won't do that and we'll just shoot the outside, but you want to have it all covered and looking right. So keep following along. So, at this stage of the game on Mr. Brian's Amazing World, I get to paint, and I love painting. We have a 86 Honda 350X gas tank, and the headlight assembly for that. And we also have a 1985 Honda 250ES Big Red gas tank and front end that we're going to be painting today. So, I figured, let me give you a little showdown of how this goes, and kind of show you how to paint some stuff, and... I mean, I'm by no means a painter, but I've been tinkering with it for a couple years. I really love doing it, and every time I do it, I get a little bit better. Last time when I painted my bus, I went out and I spent some good money on buying a good quality spray gun. And that has made all the difference. The results are a hundred times better than trying to use a cheap gun, and technology's improved this stuff a little bit. Now, the key is to make sure you use good quality paints and materials. We got our hands on some good stuff, and I mean it's not the best of stuff, but it's really great stuff. I mean you can definitely buy more expensive stuff, but for what I'm using, check out that color. Look at that on a Honda 350EX. I know, right? You're gonna love it when it's all done. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Paint just a little bit here, get it mixed up slightly. Make sure there's no solids in the bottom. Now this paint was just mixed the other day, so it should be just fine to use right away. But uh, you still always want to mix up your paint, make sure it's good. The thing I want to do right now is I can already smell it, so let's get on with it. You want to make sure you have a good mask, and it's always a big deal to have a decent mask. You don't need the best mask, but you do need a mask. And it will make all the difference, because you don't want to breathe any of this stuff in. I mean, these kind of fumes don't make you retarded. You'll sound like a Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse for the rest of your life. Because you were breathing in paint fumes, and it's not good stuff. Speaking of that... Let's crack this garage door right now. And get some kind of ventilation in here right off the bat. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we need to mix this two to one, two parts paint to one part reducer. I have a mid-temp reducer. It's perfect for this temperature in the garage. So we are gonna fill this up to about a quarter there. Wow, God, that's a color. Okay, there's the paint. All right, so 
now the paint is added, now we just need to stir that up a little bit. Mix these two together. And all right, as soon as we get, now you get a nice good strainer, high quality one when you buy your paint. And go over top of something because you're probably going to spill. Just pour that beautiful paint right in there. Now we didn't mix up a whole lot. I don't think we need much. We're only doing a gas tank. And a headlight if I have to mix up some more, no problem. I have plenty there. Oh, I'm losing my head thing. Oh boy, that probably looks awesome now. Woo, I can feel it. Talk about a hair, bad hair day, but oh well. If I'm getting my stuff painted, I'll take it. Now that I have that in there and that mixed up, I can cap that. Now these gravity feed guns, they are unbelievable. They paint so easy and so well. Just make sure you have a way to hook set it up so it stays upright. I gotta fix this because I know I look like a goofball and while well, I can't look too goofy. <sighs> Alright, man. There's something about painting. It's just exciting and fun and I know it's coming and oh I can't wait to see the color. I get this all ready. Okay. Now I'm hooked up. Pick up our gun, always face it in case it goes off, you never know. We'll turn up our, oh, our pressure is super high. Okay, we'll shoot it there. Whoop. Shoot it there and try it. Slow it through a 20. What I'll do, I'll take a couple uh, little shots on this. Yeah, that's working pretty well. We'll shoot that and take it from there. Now I'll start on the underside of the tank and just see. Ooh, what a color. Yeah, you don't want people to look up underneath and not see any color in there. So we'll start with that. Hit this other bottom edge. Wow, this is coming out all right already. I'm happy already with it. When you best off to do nice light coats, you can always do more. You don't want to do too much and get a run. Tough to see in the light to make sure you're covering it right. Alright, that's looking good so far. So I can see everything what I'm doing. Paint this while I have a little paint left. Now I have to prep the plastic a little different. Spray it with a primer that'll adhere to it. Oh wow. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Mr. Brian's Amazing World. Alright, we're back. We're about to paint our big red. And let's check this out. This is our 85 Honda Big Red. Ready? Well, hold on. Let me get a good shot here. Oh my god. Wait a minute. That's not red. That's right. We're turning this into a big blue. Woo! Look at that color. This is going to be beautiful. They should have offered this back in the day, this color. Glad I got the fenders to match it. Kind of feels special. Okay, cutting up some color in the bottom. Doesn't need much, but you gotta have some color. Get these other lines.
gun is amazing to shoot with. It's so easy. Puts down such a nice spray. Get all your edges first. I don't have a good grip here. All right, now I do. And then uh, you start shooting along. Always work from the bottom up. Get a little cover over every time. About fifty percent overlap. And the more often, oh no! I touched it. I can't believe I touched it. I might be able to get that to fix. We'll leave it like that for a minute. Of course I touched it. Why wouldn't I touch it? You know, I should have it hanging. Well, no, we want to shoot away from the tire so we don't get any paint on that. That stinks. But wow, that's a different color for a Honda. That looks amazing already. Woo! I can't wait to see this little finish up. What a fun project to redo a three-wheeler. Especially if you ride them and if you race them or if you yeah, just enjoy them. Whatever you do with them. As long as you don't sell them for parts. Worst thing you can do. Okay. I gotta stand this up somehow and look at it and see what I missed. Oh boy, don't mess up that thing. This is looking good. I'm very happy with how this is coming out so far. This is great. Now I just have to clear coat these and I can start putting it back together, finally. It's been a while, all winter, I've been trying to get around to it and finally getting it done. I wanted to film it all for you guys so you could see how to paint. I enjoy it. I'm by no means a pro, but I do like to try to you know, get a little better every time I do it. Okay, the paint is all set and ready on our Honda 350X tank and headlight shroud and the honda big red which is now going to be a big blue the forks and the gas tank are dry for that so what we need to do now is put the clear coat on them and you can see the paint is flat and kind of dull looking and that is good if you want it to look like once you add the clear coat everything's going to come to life now what we're going to use is this stuff here mix three parts of this to one part of this and you shoot it and we're going to put a couple coats on and it's going to come out absolutely amazing once you see it it's like holy cow look what it's turning into Woo, it's coming out looking good looks like liquid candy right away wow now it's all coming to life i don't know what to do with it yet it's so perfect all right let me shoot a little on these here with this light. Hard to see. Wow. Now it's like liquid. That looks amazing. For this break we still have a ton of stuff left. We're going to shoot a few coats of this. It's going to look really good when we're done. I don't know if you can see, that color looks amazing. It's just like shining. Oh, we'll see a couple more coats to keep you going. Okay, just to give you a quick little showing of what this turned into. Here's our front forks. Here's our tanks on our big blue. Previously a big red three-wheeler. There you go, get a little side view of what it looks like. We have the front piece for this three-wheeler here. It's 350X. We needed to race it. We ran it this past weekend. Came in third at Pagoda Racetrack. Check out the other Brian videos on Mr. Brian's Amazing World. Check that out. Pretty cool race. But uh, tank turned out great. Everything looks good. We're now ready to get some decals for it. And that'll be the next thing we'll do. But now I can finish this video up and put it up and show you how to paint. Thanks a lot, Mr. Brian's Amazing World. Please subscribe, like us, share us. We appreciate it.